Hello everyone, welcome back to Set School, my name is Aso, and today we'll be looking at one of my recently more favorite items, the Black Cleaver. Now, if you remember a couple of, probably eight months, seven months ago, I made a video on Zed's items, and I specifically mentioned Black Cleaver as an item I didn't really like. At the time, Zed Black Cleaver had not received its um, buff, where it got bigger shred, and it started building out a phage and such. It was still in a weird transitional phase where um, I wasn't quite sure like what its use was, specifically compared to something like an IE instead or QSS. I didn't really fi find a situation where it would be just better to kill um, the arm penetration over something that gave you a, a, a consistent spike. Um, and also there was a the problem with uh, you got redundant CDR because you got 20% CDR for that, you have 10% CDR from your Yomus and then you're sitting at okay, so I can't get Ionian boots anymore and if I'm sitting at CDR runes I'll be at either 37.5% I'm running flat or I'm gonna have to mix up per level and flat to get 10% but then I can't take CDR in uh, Masteries and I'll also be losing magic resistance. It was kind of this weird in between phase because 20% is means you have to it, the math it, it's kind of a puzzle and you you get placed in kind of a weird situation if you want to hit 40% which you don't always have to do but the, the CDR part was also a big reason why I was kind of hesitant and unsure on how to make the item work properly um, there's also the fact that you have to stack up the Black Cleaver before it gets its usefulness, meaning the first few attacks you'll be doing won't get the full arm penetration shred. It will be shredding, but it won't get the, the reduction, so it will be doing less damage than, say, if you were wielding an IE and just smacking their face with crits. But, after experiment a little bit with it, I've kind of find, found that it does have its use, and specifically as the meta has kind of slowed down a little bit and transitioned into more of a controlling stage than it's been before, I feel like this is one of the most viable items on Zed right now. Though it's still kind of in a puzzle state, as I mentioned. It's still the fact that building Black Cleaver, you have to, you, they have to be a little bit cognitive about it because. You ha first of all, you can never build Black Cleaver as a first item, it's, it's, because of its build path being Phage and Kindle Gem, just imagine going back, the first thing you do after you get a kill is buy a Kindle Gem. The snowballing on Black Cleaver uh, as a first item is horrendous, and the percentage shred doesn't work at all early game, which means what I always found is you, if you go for your, uh, the core build first, being Bork, Yomus and Last Whisper, and preferably Boots, and then add a Black Cleaver, or get an offensive item, and then add, a, add Black Cleaver, you'll get loads of value from it. Now, as mentioned, there's a little bit of a puzzle with runes, because if you're against an 80 lane, for example, you don't really have anything for your um, blue runes, whatever they call glyphs. You don't have any use for your glyphs, right? Because you can't get so you can't get MR because you have no use for it. Unless there's someone in the game that has AP, then of course you can go MR per level. But say you're against a full AD team, and no, I'm not gonna count energy. I'll <laughs> take that in another video. We're not counting energy. So usually that's when you want to add in the the CDR boons, preferably CDR per level, as you don't have as much use for flat CDR in lane as you have of CDR per level in late game, where you can reach a higher level of CDR. So when building Black Cleaver, there's this puzzle phase, so you have to think 20% plus 10%. You'll always be at 30% because you'll get Yomus and you'll get Black Cleaver. So the question is then, if I'm getting flat CDR, which is fine, you can go for just straight up flat CDR, then you can take 2.5% CDR in Masteries, which means you'll hit 40% cap, and you'll find. Or you can take uh, you can split CDR per level and flat CDR to get 10% CDR at level uh, 18. Or you can skip CDR completely in both Masteries, and if you have 10% you can skip CD CDR completely in Masteries, or you can skip CDR completely overall. Just get your Black Cleaver and your Yomus, and you're actually fine. 30% is actually really good. 40% 
kind of puts more pressure on the player and usually I've talked about I think I mentioned it several times before but there's kind of an inherent CDR cap at 25% is where most I think Korean said players say it's around 25% is where you don't usually want to go over that but you can manage with 40% and the reason why 40% is good is usually because you get your ult up faster and you get your W up faster which means you won't have as many instances of using E and Q but you'll have more instances of using all of them at once meaning every single time you use a W you have more poke um, opportunities. So, Black Labor, why is it good? Why comparatively to compared to like an IE? Why is why would I get a Black Labor instead of an IE when crits with IE would be massive? Well, first of all, I say you get Black Labor and then IE. You get both. But why is Black Labor good? Well, the HP film Black Labor, which is 400, is nothing to sneeze at to begin with. 400 HP does let you survive a little bit longer in fights. Um, which is quite relevant right now with all the Vagars and everything running around. And it lets you... The armor penetration lets you shred for your team. As it's quite common now with these late game hyper AD carries like Jinx. If you shred a little bit for your team, they can easily just eat up the, the enemy team. Um, but something that is quite huge for Zed is his death mark. Meaning if you or go all in and say you ult a target, you use Bork, you use E, you use WQ, you auto attack a few times, you'll hit the cap very fast, and then the death mark will get 20 armor penetration flat from your Yomus. It'll get X from your runes, depending how much you're running. Usually the marks flat armor penetration. It'll get, I think it's 6% or similar from masteries, and it will get uh, it's 35% from Last Whisper, I believe it is, and then it'll get all the full stacks from Black Cleaver. You'll be shredding it very, very low, and then get a full borderline, not quite, but borderline true damage. We're kind of overestimating it a little bit, but very, very large physical damage. It won't be much to reduce it. Deathmark pop. So the actual assassination potential from Black Cleaver is quite huge. And that is quite big. On top of that, the Phage ability actually surprises me quite a lot how useful that is. Not only for sticking to targets, which helps a lot. Yomus, Bork, slow from your E, Black Cleaver, speed up. It makes you absurdly sticky. But also just overland movement. If you're chasing someone and you're next to a minion wave, if you just press E, you'll run faster. It just, the utility of such, such an ability is quite, quite huge. Now, the 40, 40 attack damage, as I said, this item is quite terrible for snowballing and does not work as an early game item build, but if you puzzle it correctly, Black Cleaver is probably one of the better items to get on Zed right now. But as mentioned, be careful of building it too early, um, and it does kind of slow you down, because you are more focused on Deathmark than than your normal damage and you are a bit slower because you have to ramp up the um, arm penetration so comparatively an IE with four attacks will deal more damage than a black cleaver with four attacks but if a black cleaver gets to attack more it does also open up I, I, I expressed it as it, it locks you down to not being able to go a Yonian but it does open up so you don't have to go a Yonian boots meaning it lets you go merc treads without really being well, I don't want to say punished, but kind of punished for it. So all in all, Black Cleaver does give you more opportunities to poke with CDR. If you puzzle it right, you need to think a little bit before you go into the game. If you puzzle it right, you'll be able, able to hit 30 to 40% CDR, depending on what runes and masters you're doing. But be careful not to have redundant CDR because you're wasting efficiency. It lets you poke more often, as I said, with the CDR. It makes your death mark much stronger. It makes you more mobile and, well, tankier while you're in fights. And it helps you peel a little bit, a little bit more for these late game AD carries. So, the question then becomes: If you're getting, if you have a core plus a black cleaver, what's a good last item? As I mentioned before, I think IE actually works as a good last item. But synergizing black cleaver with something like a Hydra 
and I will have the discussion of Hydra versus Bork, don't worry. But say you have b both Bork and Hydra, um, Black Cleaver works as, or if you have a Black Cleaver and then you add a Hydra, your Shred will be incredibly fast, so you're kind of circumventing, because then you have Auto Attack interrupted by Hydra with an E that does not have an animation plus a Bork, you'll be shredding, you'll be adding four stacks in less than a second, which means Hydra might be getting back its relevance. The, the problem that comes then is that you're, while you are circumventing the, the problem you usually have with Bork, meaning you're a bit slower than an IE, you, you are missing out on crit value, meaning if you don't get an IE, you're sitting at a 15% crit chance, which is not bad, but you're kind of seeing that as a, okay, well, let's call it critting. It, it's, it's a good addition, but it's not something consistent. Adding an IE instead of a Hydra means you if you crit, they die. Because even then you have three instant stacks. You have, you ult on someone, you auto attack, reset by E, or not even reset by E, because E doesn't have an animation. Auto attack E, Bork, three stacks, Q, whether double or not, a Q, that's four stacks, and then a final auto attack, doesn't matter if that crits or not, but if that crits, with the Black Cleaver shredding everything, and you having around plus 80 extra damage from your W, sitting at around 400-ish, 430-ish, 80, that is a lot of damage. So all in all, Black Cleaver is actually one of my favorite items right now on set, but it does require a little bit of puzzling to make work. But when you do make it work, it's an incredible item. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, lesson of set school. I will be back next Thursday, one set school every Thursday. I'll be looking at um, probably not as much items now because we've been looking into items a bit more. The final item um, review I'll probably do will be Bork versus Hydra, which is a huge discussion that's been going on for a long time, and I'm actually very excited to talk about that. But I'll probably be going through either matchups or looking at kind of common mistakes that set players do. But in either case, it's been a pleasure hosting you all. If you enjoyed the video, you know, like, favorite, share, uh, tell uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever about the video. Wonderful. I'll see you all next time, okay? Thanks for watching. Peace.